How do? Just a little touch here. And the other day I did a video on a Sinclair Programs magazine. And a few people like the Sinclair Programs magazine. So I popped into the loft again and I found uh well, I say pops into the loft. It wasn't technically me that went in the loft. I sent somebody smaller and lighter into the loft. Uh so they brought down a box and I rooted through the box and I found some other some well, some other rather interesting stuff. My old original cassette recorder, a Sinclair Power Brick and a number of other magazines. Uh, input, we'll go through these in a minute. Uh, ZX Computing, uh, ZX Computing uh, and Sinclair User. I found some more as well, so but I'll show you those at a later date. Now all of these magazines at this era had something in common. Uh, mainly they all had uh, listings in it, so it had loads of midnight in it. There, so a lot of them had uh, program listings in it. So, so not only do we do we have like uh, reviews and stuff like that, but we had huge tight bits of code in it, like this. And generally, we would sit here. So people would send in this. So like WDO in from Clyde, Wrexham and Clyde or Chloid would send that in and we'd sit there, that was a spectrum I would have typed that in uh, would send that in and would sit there, so I myself would type in this so who sent this in? This was sent in by Jonathan Mokes from Cumbria I would type all of this in and run a program, however looking at this uh, I considered Escape to be rather rubbish so no offence Jonathan Mokes of Ambleside Cumbria, Escape was rather rubbish. So Sinclair User, and that was in uh, September 84, Trashman, talking about Trashman, we had ZX Computing, again ZX Computing had loads of, uh, well that one's got some hex code in it so we're looking at machine code on that one. I had loads to do with it. I'll take a more detailed look at them later on. But this input, now input wasn't a favourite magazine of mine. Because whereas ZX Computing and Sinclair User had articles and reviews in it and stuff like that, input was more like a homework magazine. Because input came in, you could buy handy little binders like this. And input was all about programming there was no fun in it it was just your life was programming and all the way through it you had icons like this sns this equaled spectrum and zx81 so there's you had keys over here look so all the way through we had these little icons here all these icons next to programs meant this is what you had to look for so these was Spectrum ZX81. As you went along, this was in the section of basic programming. So, so we had Acorn, Dragon, Tandy, Commodore, Acorn, Dragon, Tandy, and it was just pages and pages. Oh look, by the way, it's time for Doctor Who. This was uh, issue number two. Let's have a look. What year, when, when was this issue number two? I'm trying to find what date, what year it was released. Let's see. I can't see what year it was released. There's no year of when this was released. This was part two of issue. And there's no, uh, I can't see a year of release on this, but let me just say it wasn't fun. No, it was around the same year, I can tell you that. Oh, there we go. 84-85. So it's the same same time, but these went fun. So you have to find out your key. So you have to go through finding your key all the way through your listings. And then all between you had like this. Expl explain it. So, in all fairness, it was trying to get the aims of the coding all the way through it to you. So you go through all the way through the magazine 
finding your section and it'll tell you, explain it all the way through what's happening and what it's doing but to a kid of nine years old who's not really interested to sit here and look for his icon and to type out a listing and to be quite frankly honest this input magazine now into applications input magazine wasn't renowned for getting their listings wholly accurate so you'd complete your rather massive double page listing here you get to the end look at this you'd get to the end you'd type run and and shit all would happen so you think there would be a lovely image there let's face it though if we're being honest and fair to input a lot of uh, covers on cassettes had fantastic images of missiles and scantily clad ladies and the game was often quite shit uh, so I can't knock them for that so you'd have fantastic images and then you get to the end hit run and sod all will happen and then issues later input would uh, show you an error or highlight an error in the listing but by that point you've been bollocked by your dad because you've just spent ages typing out something and you've not managed to get it to run so as I said input wasn't my favouritest of magazines and we never had any actually images of it running so it was just all text and information we did have handy dandy information there like a wits guide it could be classed as a wits guide now which gave you information of where to find stuff but input wasn't a great magazine it's one of those fortnightly weekly magazines which you got put in a folder and typed it's like uh, when you said to your mum and dad you were doing a you wanted a computer for homework this was the magazine that they bought to punish you with whereas in truth the magazines that you really wanted were ZX Computing, Sinclair User, Your Sinclair, Your Spectrum, Sinclair Programs and Crash. You never really wanted to see input. Never ever. But you did. And you saw it often. Anyway, that was Input Magazine. TTFN. Tata for now. And cheerio. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.